hey guys what's up welcome back to another nba supercard video on the channel and today court domination is officially in the game obviously i did make a video last night going over donovan mitchell and going over the court domination reveal so check out that video if you have not already but before we get into this video guys make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe with noties on if you guys have been enjoying the vids and you do not want to miss any coming out in the future but without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off, obviously, Court Domination is in the game. I've been playing it a little bit, not a ton. I've gotten two sharp pulls so far, um, and I just kind of haven't really been focused on it. I've been playing a little bit of Classic Champions in, uh, what's it called, in WWE Supercard. So that's kind of where I've been putting my focus. Um, but yeah, if you guys did not see yesterday's video, we also did open up our quest rewards. So you're definitely going to want to check that video out. Um, if you don't want spoilers and if you're not going to go check that video out, you got three seconds, three, two, one. And, uh, the card we pulled, we ended up getting LeBron James out of there, out of our quest rewards. Really, really solid stuff. And our, uh, Ruby that we ended up getting was Yusuf Nurkic. So sadly it wasn't a pro, but it's really good. And LeBron James is by far the best Valentine's card. So I'm happy about that. Uh, but I'm honestly tempted to open up packs because, you know, I have the money at disposal. Like, I don't have, obviously, I don't have a job at this point in my life. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit too young for that, um, to have a good job that makes, like, money to support a family, obviously. Uh, but I have some extra money on the side from whether that's Christmas or from holidays or birthday or just or doing chores or doing jobs for people individually i have just some money on the side and i definitely it wouldn't hurt to just go and spend 50 dollars on the on the game it'd be good content for you guys and also it would help boost me um obviously these cards they're just temporary they're gonna amethyst tears gonna come out most of these cards that i have are gonna become irrelevant but it would be more about the content for you guys and kind of just having fun opening packs is obviously fun because you know the chance odds is similar to gambling so i just feel like It'd be kind of a fun video, so if you guys, like I said in the past videos, want to see me open up packs, make sure to tell me in the comments, because I'm, I'm tempted. Obviously, right now, we have the 1 to 10 um, pack in the store. We can go and open up all 10 packs. I believe it costs around 8,000 credits, um, so I could do that if I spent $50 on it. Um, I'm tempted to do that, but I'm also tempted to wait for the 1,800 uh, credit packs to come out, where it's guaranteed one Emerald plus Valentine's card. So, we'll have to see what I want to do there. Um, but I know in this one you're guaranteed a ruby, so that's why it's very tempting. So if I decided to make a video on it, um, you guys will see that probably within the next few days. Um, but yeah, enough rambling on. Let's go ahead and check out Court Domination. If you guys do not know who the cards are, we got Jalen Brown. Um, oh god, I completely forgot who the ruby one is here. Let me take a look real quick. They announced it on Twitter yesterday, and uh, I just completely forgot who it was. Uh, let me scroll down real quick and I'll find it. And also, um, if you guys are into football, Carson Wentz got traded to the Colts today. So that's a pretty, pretty cool move right there. Um, we'll have to see how he adapts with the Colts system. I know he knows Frank Reich pretty well. Um, but yeah, it's a Ruby Ray Allen. Yeah, that's who it is. So the Sapphire is Jalen Brown. The Ruby's Ray Allen. I heard the Emerald is Sue Bird. I have no clue who the gold is. Um, I honestly, I'll, I'll open up the NBA Superguard Discord and see if they have it. Um, because if anyone's gonna have it, it's gonna be them. Uh, where is it? Undercards and undercards. Uh, yeah. So all we know for now is Sue Bird is the Emerald. No one has done the gold yet, so we'll figure that out eventually. But as of now, I don't think most people know who the gold is, and if they do, they haven't reported it to the NBA Discord. Um, but yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get into a game of court domination. I'll kind of explain my strategy. I did this last court domination I'll do this this court domination just so you guys know how to play and how I play uh, The way I have my deck structured is I don't have any ruby pros I only have sapphire pros that are high tier and single rubies and then in the bottom I have two base level golds in there that are the same arrow and I'll show you my deck structure in a minute But the way I have it is you see I have two yellow arrows that are pointing upwards one left arrow, one right arrow, one down arrow. So I'm going to take my worst card since I have two up arrows. I'm going to go on the top for sure. And then I can choose whatever I want. I'm going to use um, it based off positional boosts. I'm going to go right here just because if I have a point guard, I can place him there. And if I have a small forward, I can place him there to boost him up. As you guys can see, he's going to take Reggie Bullock and that it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and win him back. The reason this works really well is you go ahead and get you guarantee they challenge you because you have a low tier card and then all you do is you take it 
and you corner him challenge back as you can see i use the positional boost right there from uh big mike and we end up taking back reggie bullock and now he cannot challenge reggie bullock and he's trapped in the corner it's just a good strategy to go ahead and guarantee cards and a scenario like this where he goes ahead and places a card where there's an empty corner and you're guaranteed not attack dump a card tony parker goes in the corner he cannot take tony parker he's going to challenge that uh with what's her name cheyenne parker that's not gonna work uh big mike is just a, it's, she's a very very good ruby i gotta say um but yeah we're, we're gonna win this and then like i said make sure you guys take advantage of your positional boosts um i used big mike in that scenario in the positional boost just so um she wouldn't get taken and then we end up winning this game pretty simple stuff i'll show you guys the way my deck is structured i have it so i have an even amount of arrows on every i have i have two of every type of arrow and then i have the two golds just so it's it's always random and it's not the same every game because i like mixing it up a little bit i don't want it to be the same corner every game because that's just gonna be mentally draining similar to the gauntlet i gotta say i'm not a big fan of the gauntlet um i hope they restructure it to be similar to rtg from wwe supercard where in season seven the first few cards you only play one round rather than four rounds and i just feel like that'd be much better and be less draining and uh the way like i said the way i have my deck structured is i have two down arrows dewana bonner and kevin durant i have two left arrows kevin durant and tony parker which is weird why they made kevin durant two different arrows i'm assuming it's because his positions but still weird we got big mike and chris paul as up arrows and then we got uh luka Doncic and stephanie dolson as right arrows and then we got the two reggie bullocks right here i just prefer to have the same card twice just because of the same arrow so i can use them in the games and then i obviously have two ruby supports the supports don't matter and as you guys can see that puts me right on the border of ruby that's what you want to do you want to be on the border of the tier you're currently in or tiers lower than you my core domination deck will be ruby plus plus but i'm gonna do ruby just for the fact that i can go ahead and go up against sapphire plus and sapphire plus plus decks because that's how it works so let's say you have a base tier sapphire and you're looking to get the ruby card right and you want to go ahead and just make it the lowest tier sapphire possible so you can go ahead and face off against emerald plus and emerald plus plus so what you want to do is whatever tier you're in emerald ruby sapphire you want to be the lowest possible you can in that tier so you go up against tiers lower than you pretty simple stuff because if i was at like the top of ruby or i'm in ruby plus plus i'm gonna go up against ruby and ruby plus plus teams while i'm practically in sapphire plus plus but i'm still in ruby so i'm gonna get ruby rewards i'm gonna go up against sapphire plus and sapphire plus plus teams it just makes it much easier for you and like i said structure your deck so you have an even amount of arrows in different spots just so it's not inconsistent where you have like four up arrows and like two down arrows and like one one right arrow and one left arrow that just wouldn't work because one game you might get all entirely up arrows and you literally can't do the corner strategy so that's that's my only thing i have to say just kind of structure your deck so you're not gonna only get one arrow in a specific game just be prepared and have at least one of each arrow or i should i would say probably at least two of each arrow in your deck and then i would run lower tier cards um the reason i did golds is because that put me barely on the edge if i were to do silvers that would put me in sapphire plus plus so i did gold just because it put me on the edge and i didn't have to worry about ruining my deck and going down a tier so that's pretty much it for the video guys i just wanted to go over my strategy that i have going into this um this court domination wanted to give you guys a little bit of update and just let you guys know if you're not paying attention in game it's out so make sure to go play it uh but yeah guys it is going to be the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe with noties on but yeah i'll see you boys in the next one peace out